We're at nine kilometers. We're at nine kilometers. Oh, return home. Go home. Hello everyone. DJI has just released a new firmware update that makes this controller, the DJI RC, compatible with this drone, the Mavic 3. And today we're looking at what's the difference between the DJI RC and the RC Pro controller. What's it like to use these two controllers? What kind of range can you expect? And which one of these deserves to go home with you? So let's find out. Now first, let's take a look at the DJI RC. This controller was originally released with the Mini 3 Pro and can only be purchased as a combo with the Mini 3. But as of today, you can buy this DJI RC separately for $309, which is a heck of a lot cheaper than the RC Pro, which retails for a whopping $1,200. So for an extra $900, what exactly do you get on the RC Pro controller that is better than the DJI RC? Well, at first glance, these controllers look pretty similar. They both have separate buttons for recording videos and taking photos. They both have separate dials for adjusting the gimbal and the zoom function. They both have customizable buttons on the back. Both have a 5.5 inch built-in display and they both run Android software. And this is where most of the similarity ends. The RC Pro controller comes with 32GB of internal storage, a micro SD card slot for expandability and a HDMI port for recording videos. The DJI RC on the other hand doesn't come with any internal storage, instead it relies solely on its micro SD card slot for storage. And as such, you can't install any third-party apps on this controller. The DJI RC also doesn't come with a HDMI port, so if you want to record your flight on the controller, it'll be through the controller's screen recording function. The quality from the screen recording function isn't the best, it's only at 720p which looks pretty janky compared to the screen recording on the RC Pro controller, which is at 1080p. And well, unless if you're making a drone tutorial video for YouTube and you need a decent quality video from the screen recording, you're really not going to notice the difference. However, the one difference that you'll notice immediately is the brightness of the display. The RC Pro controller can output a sustained 1000 nits of brightness, while the DJI RC can only get up to 700 nits of brightness, which means on a bright sunny day, the RC Pro will outperform the DJI RC. Because you'll still be able to see where you're flying. But is that really worth $900 just to get this feature? Well, we'll try to answer that later in this video. Now, having these built-in displays on these two controllers are amazing because you no longer have to fumble around with wires or have to clumsily attach your smartphone onto the controller. Having the display built into the controller makes for an overall smoother setup and takeoff experience because all you have to do is to take out the control sticks from the back and then screw them onto the controller, which takes no time at all. However, because you're not connecting your smartphone to the controller, these controllers aren't connected to the internet. And this means that if you need to access maps to locate your crashed drone or to update your flight logs or to do a firmware update, you'll have to pull out your smartphone again, turn on the hotspot and then turn on the Wi-Fi on these controllers. And while this is not exactly a very difficult thing to do, it does throw you off your rhythm. And if the update takes a bit too long, you might even miss the opportunity to capture that golden hour, which is why you should always do your updates at home before you head out. Now, let's talk about the weight and battery life of these controllers. The DJI RC weighs 385 grams, which is really light considering that the RC-N1 controller that doesn't come with a built-in display weighs about the same at 390 grams. The DJI RC has a 5200 mAh battery, which gives it a battery life of 4 hours. The RC Pro controller, on the other hand, weighs 680 grams, which is almost twice as heavy as the DJI RC, and it can definitely feel that way when you're holding it for long periods of time. Tiring, uh, that's why heavy, uh, this stupid thing. And interestingly, the RC Pro comes with a slightly smaller battery, only 5000 mAh on the RC Pro. 
and when you combine that with a display that can output a thousand nits of brightness, the RC Pro controller has a battery life of only three hours. <laughs> Now, the one thing that the RC Pro controller has more than the DJI RC are antennas, two of which you can see externally. The RC Pro controller comes with two transmitters and four receivers, and it runs Ocusync 3.0 Plus, while the RC Pro controller has one transmitter, two receivers, and it runs plain old vanilla Ocusync 3.0. No plus here. But does that translate into you getting more range on the RC Pro controller? Well. Let's find out. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So in this test, we're going to fly the Mavic 3 with both controllers and we're going to fly them one at a time and we're going to fly them in a straight line until the battery warning comes on. Critically low battery. And then we'll record the distance. Go home. Now the reasons why we're doing this kind of test is that this is pretty much the real world scenario. Whenever you send your drone out, you kind of expect it to come back to you. Otherwise, You've just lost your work, your beautiful footage, and your very expensive drone. And nobody wants to do that. So getting back to our test, the DJI RC got up to 9 kilometers while maintaining an altitude of 100 meters, which is pretty impressive. Go home. And it returned home with 20% of battery left. And if you were a bit of a maverick, you could possibly ignore the battery warning and push it to almost 10 kilometers on the DJI RC because the signal strength was still very strong. Now, as for the RC Pro controller, which costs $900 more and has more transmitters and receivers, I was thinking that this controller was going to kick the DJI RC's butt. But as you can see, critically low battery, the RC Pro maxed out at 9.3 kilometers only managing an extra 300 meters before the battery warning came on and it had to turn back. It too came home with 20% of battery left. And again, theoretically, we could have gotten over 10 kilometers with the RC Pro because the signal strength was still very strong. And we did manage to travel over 10 kilometers in our previous video. However, it was absolutely nerve wracking because we weren't sure that it was going to make it back and we landed with only 8% battery left. That was a very scary day. If you want to check out that video, please click on the link above. Look, like I've said earlier, I was hoping that the RC Pro controller was going to kick the DJI RC's butt in the range test because for something that costs $900 more, it really needed to outperform the DJI RC by a lot or at least by $900 worth. And so far, that $900 worth just gets you an extra brighter screen, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, the ability to install third-party apps, and a HDMI port. And if that is something you need in your video production, well, you'll just have to get the RC Pro controller. Otherwise, save yourself $900, get the DJI RC. It might not have the brighter screen, but you can easily fix that with a $20 sunshade. And if you do a lot of traveling, we all know that traveling lighter is better. And the DJI RC being the lighter of these two controllers is more travel friendly. And from this video, we've shown you that you're not really going to lose out on transmission range against the RC Pro controller, at least not in a wide open field like this. So we hope this video has been helpful. And if it has, please don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing so you can stay tuned for more videos like this. Our friend Drone X Factor did a similar test in an urban setting comparing signal fidelity between these two controllers. And if you want to see how that went down, check out their video here. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.